Hello guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I want to talk about the Nikon Z6 that I bought back in October. Now some of you may remember me buying it. I never did a video on it because I wanted to get more um, hands on with it and figure out the settings and everything because someone told me that it is a huge step up from um, a crop sensor DSLR to a full frame and a mirrorless camera and I now believe them. Um, this is my old camera. It is a Nikon D7000. It served me for roughly three or four years very well. Um, but I just thought it was time for an upgrade because I'm trying to get a business up and running now and I want to start taking it more seriously. Still have fun with photography but I just thought it was a time for an upgrade and for you guys who have followed me for a while you'll know that I never owned a new camera. I always bought second hand so it was a really big step for me. Um, I'm not very good in terms of reading in the you know analytics about all of the different specs and stuff. Um, I was going to buy a Nikon that was meant to have been coming out in September of last year and it was meant to have been the first full frame camera out that was going to be for under a thousand pound. That camera never came out so I got lucky and read some reviews and watched some videos online and for what I wanted which is like landscape, architecture, astrophotography I was recommended this camera. Um, which was probably the best thing I ever did because I could have kept on looking and confused myself. I did want a Sony, but they were just way too expensive. Um, I paid around two and a half thousand pounds for this camera. I've got on finance because I couldn't really afford to just pay that money outright. Um, so here is the Nikon Z6. As you can see, it is a lot thinner than my other camera. The screen also comes out as well, which it doesn't on my old one, as you can see, so it slides. Um, very nice camera. I bought an L bracket for it as well. I haven't actually got um, any lenses for it, so I decided to go for the, it's cheaper if you didn't get the package that I had, but I decided to get the FTZ kit, which is basically an adapter. Here it is, it was an extra 200 pound. Um, and this adapter obviously it goes onto the camera and I can use my own lenses in it my old lenses so that was good because I don't actually own a new lens this yet I'm gonna go on at the photography show this year so if you're there guys and you see me come and say hello um, so I bought this camera in yeah it was late October the first time um, I actually tried it was November, but when it did come in October, it only come with one battery. And another thing that I didn't know about, because do more research, guys, is the fact that these the, these cameras don't take normal SD cards. So I had to go on a website, pay next day delivery, because I was going to Georgia at the time, guys. Some of you may remember, and get a card. Now this is only a 32 gigabyte card, guys. You can see that it's quite thick compared to the standard DSLR, uh, the standard SD card. Um, and this card, believe it or not, even though it's 32 gig, was around 75 pound, I think. So you know, I just put on finance two and a half thousand pound camera, and on top of that, I had to. Um, get the SD card um, it comes with one battery but the battery life lasted quite a long time so I haven't actually bought another battery yet just because there's just more and more stuff on it um, my L bracket on it which was really good that was 50 quid so I'd already spent loads at that point I actually ordered that in Georgia when we was at a location shooting a sunset um, I took both cameras with me, but I used this one a lot. And the difference, guys, I can note this was incredible. The ISO was better. The picture quality was better. The colors was better. 
and these are with my old lenses the only issue i had was with my wide angle lens which was a 11 to 16 millimeter um was i could only use it on 16 mil because any more than that and it was causing a a vignette effect around the camera so that's why guys um if you're gonna buy a full frame mirrorless get a lens for it like i said i'm gonna be getting a wide angle lens at the photography show hopefully if i can afford it and i find one i like but other than that my other lenses work on it fine i've got a standard 18 to 55 mil and a zoom lens um i've used it a bit more since but i haven't used it as much when i was in georgia so i'll stack some photos around so you can see the sort of quality hopefully youtube doesn't kill the quality too much um i haven't tried filming on it yet apparently it shoots in 4k but trying to edit 4k footage is horrendous because you know i haven't got the top for a range laptop um but yeah it was a really good experience to buy this camera because it's going to help me f leaps and bounds along the way um it's got bluetooth as well which is cool because i'm just connected up to my laptop that way because i haven't got a, a reader for the card yet um or it came with a wire that i can use um but th that 32 gig it served me well because i was just obviously when i was on the trip i had my laptop with me so i was just putting the pictures over like i said so we was doing I want to say 9 to 10 hours a day and that battery was lasting because I had my old camera with me and that's incredible so I was taking probably anywhere from two to three hundred pictures a day probably even more because I was doing bracketing that's another good feature on this guys my old camera didn't have it but the bracketing feature is good because you can control all of the settings of the bracketing um, I'm looking forward to try and more stuff with it i've tried handheld with, with it which is good i want to try astral and night photography now because apparently the iso settings they they do go up high and they are phenomenal but apparently this is a really really good camera for um astro type photography um but yeah it's you know my personal opinion even though I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a professional photographer when it comes to settings and stuff. I'm more like just like to shoot, but this is an incredible camera, guys, and I highly recommend it because, like I said, it's mirrorless and full frame. If I didn't go for the Nikon Z6, I'd be going for Sony because Sony are phenomenal as well. Um, like I said, I'm not really a settings guy, so I just do ISO, F-stop, and the shutter speed you know that's sorted for me um but yeah that's pretty much it guys i camera's incredible i'm just like i said i'm speechless by it maybe because it's my first brand new camera i don't know what the shutter count is on it but that's everything it basically came in um if you want me to do what's in my camera bag video guys please let me know I'm going to try to do more photography related content on this channel but the exploring and vlogs will still be coming because I'm trying to make the channel about my personality as well guys so um, I, hi I highly recommend this camera um, this is my own personal review it's not like an in-depth tech review like I said I'll leave some pictures in and around me further on back so you can see what the type of quality is like and um i'll put my website below guys on my instagram so you can check out my stuff and i'm looking forward to like i said trying more stuff with this camera i want to go to rossilly bay in a few weeks i've never been which it should be good and i've got another few other locations on my phone that i want to visit that's cool for you guys that you guys are like to see and they're great for photography so that works out as me because 
the guys that have stuck with me from like the beginning and come on you are the real ogs i know there's a lot of people here who like the urban explore and stuff and they'll still be on the channel guys but i want to do more in-depth photography tutorials photography vlogs videos like i said this is just more of a personal review on the camera because like i said i'm not really in depth with all of the you know all of the statistics and whatnot but like i said is a brilliant camera and i highly recommend it um like i said i would recommend you get a full frame lens for it and mirrorless check online if you've got one but you know you can stick with it like i said so i was using the 11 to 16 mil a meter lens so 16 mil would be what it'd probably be like 11 mil on my crop sensor um i couldn't use any more than that on there which i was a little bit gutted about but sometimes guys stuff can be too wide if you get me um but i'm rambling on so yeah guys if you want to see the what's in my camera bag let me know and if there's enough desire for it because it has updated slightly i shall let you guys know and i'm gonna try work hard on this youtube channel guys because i feel like i've been a little bit lazy because i was watching a youtuber last night and it sort of inspired me because he works 10 hour shifts and he was still doing videos they weren't like in my genre or anything like that but that still is expiring because i could be doing a lot more i could be doing stuff on my laptop you know tutorials i just need to kick it in a butt and start this photography journey with you guys it is an absolutely beautiful day that's why i keep on looking that way because that's where my window is guys but thanks for watching this video guys and i'll see you in the next one peace